And Michelle is a practitioner of energy medicine and holistic wellness educator. She graduated from PCC in 2006 with her MA, and she also has a BS in biology, and is currently doing coursework with the Center for Sacred Studies. She's writing her first book, Heal Yourself, Heal the World, which is due for publication in early 2013. Her passion for transformation has guided her explorations, and her ongoing intention is to inspire others to reawaken their innate capacities and wisdom. Today, Michelle is going to be talking about Heart Star Radiance, becoming love in action through empowered authenticity. Thank you. Can you see me? <laughs> very much also participating. For so long, I lived in silence. I stopped telling my story. I was so afraid that by speaking it, I would give it power, that it would win, and I would lose myself. But now, today, I know that sharing my vulnerability amongst sacred witness showing you the mutilation behind my mask not only makes me more authentic, more empowered, but it actually makes me whole. It heals me. And although my entire life story is unfortunately beyond the scope of today's presentation. <laughs> I offer myself to you that way, to see and be seen, to be held and to hold in safe and sacred space. And I thank you for connecting so deeply in the past, today, and in the days to come of our unfurling and expanding cosmic love. It sounds like I just finished, but <laughs> okay. um, so one of the oldest questions is, who am I? Um, and what is empowerment? What does it mean to have power? Where does power come from? So what is the source of power? What nurtures and nourishes you? Power is fueled by an energy source. In Greek, it's trophy. To nourish or to feed. From Trefin to make thrive or nourish or rear. So autotroph, heterotroph, and atrophy to waste away through lack of nourishment. So as we're sitting here, I ask you to take a deep breath. And as you inhale, feel that energy moving up from the earth into your body. You know, feel that power, feel that source of that love from the mother. Feel the flow entering you like the xylem drawing water up the stem of a plant. And feel the support and strength of the earth supporting you. Feel her pulling you into her arms, embracing you, her gravity keeping you close to her always. The more you connect to her as your source of nourishment, the stronger the bond. And authenticity is born of wisdom, a faculty of inner knowing, of soul honoring, discovering self, 
is as much discovering who we are as it is a process of letting go of that which no longer serves. It is a soul to access, sacred discernment, erotic autopoiesis, finding that statue inside the slab of marble, the landscape upon the empty canvas. We are the artists of our becoming. And take another breath, and this time pulling that wisdom, that truth of who you are, down from the heavens, drawing it into yourself, purifying the senses of your being. And this exhale, letting go, letting go of what no longer serves what's no longer authentic. Inhale that clarity, wisdom, cleansing the obscurations to your authentic self. And exhale, letting go, letting go. Before we discuss what happens in the fusion reaction between the flows from below when it meets the flow from above, at the heart. I want to discuss two related concepts, conduction and contraction. Conduction is the process by which heat, electricity, or sound is transmitted through a substance. So what kind of conductor are you? I asked Aaron this, and he went like this. And I love that. <laughs> and then I asked myself the same question. And I decided that I'm also a type of conductor. It's a different type of conductor. It's a train conductor. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> I just love playing with words this way. Because there's so many meanings. And there's still more with this one. Conduct. How does one carry oneself? How does one present? or behave in the context of an occasion. It may or may not be an actual occasion. I'm not really sure I didn't take that class. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but conduct, if we look at the word itself, Latin to lead. Right away. Oh, to lead. And in 1713, the word became uh, more of the concept of a channel or a conduit, as Matt so beautifully brought in with that, the shamanic traditions in that way. That we're all shamans, we're all healers. No more that we tune into that authenticity. The more clear our channel is, the more we will be able to do this healing work. So how efficient is your conduction? It is directly related to your authenticity. And contraction. Contraction, the first thing that comes to me is birth pains with this word. It's a creative process of becoming, of birthing, yourself, what is being birthed through you, as you. It's a creative process, a creative expression. How is the universe speaking through you in this life? And then the contraction of skeletal muscle for locomotion. Where are you going? Where are you going? From the Latin tractus, track or course, from trahere to pull or draw.
So it's as much a drawing through as it is a drawing with and together. Working together through this birthing process. And finally, contract. What is your agreement? What is your soul agreement? What are you here to fulfill? With these multivalent concepts in our awareness and fueled by the energy from our source and our truth, we ask about application, about becoming, love in action. This is that fusion reaction. At the heart where the two flows meet, a star is born. Spoken like a true Leo. Mm -hmm. This star is your sun, your true self and expression. Your sun. Doreen Virtue says, My inner sun is always creating beauty. My prayer is to notice and therefore enjoy this beauty and expression. The light shines joyfully and beautifully, continuously, because that is its nature. Our true self and expression. The star is your sun, and the sun in a solar system is a star in the cosmos. So it's an expanded view of self in terms of the context of the entire universe. The heart star is auto-incendiary. You become a source of light and life for others. Of light, of this wisdom and authenticity becomes a beacon for others to step into their true selves. And life, a source of life and energy, nurturance and nourishment for others to become empowered. And radiance is this outpouring of love and action. Teilhard said, love is a sacred reserve of energy. It is like the blood of spiritual evolution. So if you'd like to close your eyes for a moment, take a deep breath in feeling those flows from above and below meet at the heart, feeling that expansion of light and that sensation of warmth and the flow outward, the flow to one another in this room, in this building, in this city, in this state. Surrendering to your true nature, relaxing into who you are, letting go of what no longer serves on this path of love and action, feeling the empowerment of the source of light and life, your heart star radiance. Love in action is a natural extension of who you are. I would like to close with a quote by theosophist, author, and publisher James Morgan Price. Wouldst read the story of the self-born king First, learn the splendid language of the sun, the speech of the stars, the moon's coy whispering, the music of the planets, and of one, our mother earth, crooning her cradle song to her uncounted babes, who when they gain the soul's full stature, 
to the heavens belong. that has one definite distinct meaning, but it's, you're almost treating words like symbols that resonate on multiple levels um, in the present and reaching back to the past. And I think it, it sort of, it brings words to life. And I, I encourage you to continue that practice. Thank you so much. Um, when I receive them, I receive them almost emotionally or somatically. And so there's, there's definitely an unpacking process. And it, and it comes out in layers for me. And, um, and I love that about it because it is so rich. And um, they, do, they do very much come to me like, like symbols or like uh, somatic and, and emotional kinesthetic expressions. And so to be able to uh, get the opportunity to, to delve into them and really spend a lot of time with them, um, it's, it is a healing. It is a healing process. So thank you for bringing that up. Thank you for affirming that. Thank you.